<clears throat> I know that you guys want to prepare for every game the same, no matter who the opponent is. But being able to be stay at home against an in-state opponent with OU's pedigree, do you notice a difference, a different vibe with the players or the team? Are they are they more excited for this one than some of them? Well, you would think, but again, you know, uh, light work Sunday after a long trip. You know, we didn't get you know back here till pushing two thirty three. Um, and then yesterday's an off day. There's a lot of guys are in the building watching tape, and you're you're interacting with them in in a casual. We did have today because of our class conflicts. We did have a, a morning meeting because we can't get all our work done in the afternoon with our one o'clock and evening class time. So we you know we so we've seen the guys in the meeting set up until you get on the field. You would think that's naturally going to be the case. They they know it's a great team. Uh, they know how good they is, they are this year, and historically they always are. And there'll be a lot of guys that know guys. We have a lot of in-state guys. They do so. There's always fun with that. Um, we talk about only six home games. We're down to five. It is a sellout crowd. So I'm sure there's going to be energy. Um, but at the same time, I talked with our staff a couple weeks ago. It's about preparing and giving our guys the best chance to win this game. And it's also about developing long term as we're starting the program and where you're trying to get to. So make sure we're doing everything we can to, uh, you know, get the stops, kick it well, and score points. And by the way, make sure you're also getting the culture created as you as you're still building. And for you personally, playing a team where you spent nearly a decade at, does it make it feel any different? No, I mean, I, you know, I got a lot of great friends there, not just on staff in the town. I got, you know, I had several of of my of our closest non-coaching friends that we've met uh, in our careers have been just neighbors that we had uh, down there. We're at an age where we had young kids and neighborhood with young kids, so we got tied with a lot of people in the community. Um, Coach Stoops was awesome to work for. Our practice, our players were phenomenal. Had a great staff that we were working with. Because of the time and the success we had, it gave me opportunities, really opportunities to be sitting here. And one, and the opportunity to want to be here has to do with, almost like you say, basically a great decade in Norman. Same time, this is this week and our team, and we're developing our team. I know Brent's laser focused on his team in year two and, and the strides they're bidding. So that's a neat little uh, backdrop story. But to me, I'm, I'm more concerned with our team and, 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 and putting together a great plan this week and practicing well and then going out playing well and keep building what we're trying to get going here. And you mentioned Brent there. Do you have any good stories of Brent back from those days? No, I mean, I mean, what you see is what you get. And very genuine. Again, prayers to he and his family and, and with Julie and you know, our, uh, our, our sons are basically the same age, my oldest son. My youngest son, the same kind of same age as his two guys, and we'd go to a little league game, and it would be the Stoops two, and the Wilson two, and the Sumlins two, and the and the, and the Venables two, and and uh, and the best deal was is like we were just dads. We didn't want to coach. We didn't want to. We, didn't want to, we just wanted to sit there and watch our guys. So that was kind of neat. Where you know the, all the guys were playing baseball on the same teams, basketball on the same teams. So I, I just remember the family get practice was competitive. Practice was hard. Um, but practice was never personal. You know, you were just you were trying everything you could. To, um, and I think as a coach, I grew a lot there as a coach because you started learning that you're going against good players and good coaches. But also, too, if your players aren't playing well when you got good players, sometimes you're looking at how you're coaching. Are you covering things properly? Are you getting things taught properly? And how to implement and install things. So, phenomenal time. He's a great coach, a passionate coach. Uh, he is right now sitting in a room with some players. He's got a crease board with a thousand lines over it. You can't see everything, but he is blowing up and stopping plays, and that's what he does, and he does it as well as anybody.